got the boat ride. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, there's a Six Flags ride. And then, no, and you're not in the no, 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 the no. monster boat ride. The monster boat ride in Atlanta, oh. Georgia, has Six Flags, where you're going on a tour through a plantation house that's been taken over by monsters. None of it makes any sense. None of it made any sense. And there's an I I startle very easily. And there's a really unnecessary like alarm that goes off towards the end. It's like, it's like a semi truck horn sound effect, and it's really loud in a an echoey tunnel for no reason. No, I thought you were going to talk about the uh, the ride in England where it was a oh, haunted no. house that had been overrun by zombies, and you were armed with like laser tag guns, and you had to shoot them. Except. Even if it's moving in slow motion, I will be startled and I will scream. And, and your screams are great because it's like, Aah! and it's really funny. Um, but you know, we were on the topic, the topic of Six Flags. Now, I'm sure you guys know that Six Flags is a beautiful quality park where everything goes according to plan all the time. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about Six Flags Chicago for a moment because that was the worst theme park experience I've ever had, and we're gonna tell you why because we like to sip the tea with Kermit the Frog. Cool, we're just gonna keep being really bitter all day. Uh, so, we to, so we went to Six Flags in Chicago, and it was, it, I hadn't been there since I was very little. It was his first trip there, and we were there for the first weekend of the season. Spoiler alert, don't go the first weekend of the season. No one knows what's going on. So we hadn't been in the park for too long, when Carolyn decides it's time for a snack. Please, like, please note that this entire situation is Carolyn's fault. <laughs> <laughs> she is here, not that I'm not thinking behind her back. Um, so we go up to the churro stand, and on the wall they have painted, or on the window they have painted churros. Oh, no, it's a sign. A sign, okay. So they have painted churros, chocolate churros, Bavarian cream churros. And she's like, oh, Bavarian cream, that's a difference. We get up to the window, and she says, hi, I would like one Bavarian cream churro. And the girl goes, what? The, the Bavarian cream churro. She goes, you mean vanilla? Sure, vanilla. Let's go with vanilla. She's got the glove, the food handling glove on, and she picks up the churro, and then just kind of looks at it. And she walks back over to the register and just like is holding this churro with the glove and doesn't wrap it in anything. And I was like, ma'am, I swear to the Lord above, if you try to give that to me, I might jump over the counter. I might do it. So she's holding the churro, and she types in the transaction with her other hand. And she kind of stares at the register, and she looks up, and she stares down, she looks up, she goes, it's not working. And we're like, oh, okay. She turns around, she puts the churro back in the case, she turns around, she picks up the phone, doesn't dial anything, just listens to the dial tone for, for two minutes. Yeah, two minutes, just stands there, and I was like, are you, do you not know how a phone works? And she turns around, she's like, I can't get a hold of anybody, sorry. And just shrugged, and then stood there. And so I'm like, okay, there's got to be another churro place around here. And I, I'm like, I think there's, they are gone. The two of them had disappeared. And I was like, this might as well. We were hungry and on a mission. So we go to find anybody who can help. We find someone who finally gets the, we find a custodial manager who finally gets in charge of like, gets a hold of the food and beverage people. He gets us a churro. Life is good. We're going to move on with our Yeah, day. I think that's the end of the day. That's step you one. Are wrong. So step two is we get to lunchtime, and usually we will split food in the theme parks because you don't want to like eat a whole bunch of heavy food and then continue to ride roller coasters. So also, the fact that the day. theme park food is expensive, and Six Flags food is more expensive than Disney and Universal, which is weird. Why? Well, Six Flags quality food is terrible. Anyways. So we find a stand that is chicken fingers and fries, and that's all they serve is chicken, chicken fingers and fries. And, and we I'm think, hated, right? great, this is gonna be fast. There's a, there's like a, a like a group of people in the switchback in front of us. We're like, this is gonna move through pretty well. 45 minutes later, we realize our mistake. When we get to the window and we look in and we realize that they're making each order of chicken fingers and fries when it's ordered. You know, because they serve so many other things that they have to not overmake the chicken fingers or the fries, even though that's all they serve. So we finally get it. It has taken so long at this point that we are all hangry, and this just does not hold us over long enough. Nope. Now, up at the front of the park, they had had one of those like healthy food stops. I say healthy food because nothing is healthy in the theme park. But they had a healthy food stop, and, the, and the, the outside of the building said things like wraps and salads and yogurts. So Carolyn's like, you know what, let's go get yogurt. That sounds really good. At least no Carolyn's name has come up again in a situation. <laughs> we're just kind of around the front of the park. We're like, let's go get yogurt. So they get in line. Uh, at this point, I'm so done that I have given up and gone to the table where I proceeded to fall asleep for the next 20 minutes. So we get in line at 3 o'clock. 